We must rid ourselves of that damned mage, whatever the cost. If it were that simple, you'd be Viceroy by now. Mages don't die easily, and you've nothing left to offer us. Three years ago, you promised financial assistance. We were to convey information and resist Death Mold and his supporters in most matters. Nothing's changed. But it has! Foltest and Demoven had their throats slit! Someone, we know not who, wanted to slaughter the Unicorn! The situation's fucking tense, and Death Mold's stronger than ever! More importantly, you've nothing to offer us. The Temerian treasury is closed to you. Gentlemen, you forget what will happen if the King learns of our dealings. We'll not be intimidated, Roach. And remember, you speak to nobles. I've been in Kedwin for three days, traveled through nearby villages and towns, saw old friends, sounded out the mood, asked for news outright. The people of Kedwin detest Deathmold and his thugs. They await the man who would dare to wring his neck. Someone approaches. Weapons. Easy there. What the swiven hell is he doing here? He woke up and walked over, if I am to guess. We didn't approve this. How did he know of our meeting? Something I'd like to know as well. Geralt? I have my ways. Unimportant. But it is. If you know, others might know. Overheard a conversation between Whistling Wendy and one of you gentlemen. How dare you, freak? I've a wife. It's shot. It's all shot, Roach. We return to our banners to aid the king in battle. Your plot is done, dissolved, having achieved nothing. Gentlemen. How did you ever come to head a conspiracy in a Kedweni camp? It's a long story. Literally. Foltest and I devised the plan three years ago. Shortly after, Henselt burned Sabrina at the stake and appointed Deathmold his advisor. Morale among nobles and officers was low following the failed campaign. We took advantage. I bought them off, gave them political direction. I received information in exchange. What was your aim? To sow some ferment. Prevent any alliance with the Black Ones and generally limit Deathmold's and Henselt's influence. You were gone three days. Been back at the camp? Any idea what's going on there? I haven't. But continue to get news from those... traitors. Who have they arrested? Dandelion mentioned Brightfelt, Kirim of Cainghorn, and... Not good. Kirim has been one of the plotters since the beginning. He knows me. Maybe the interrogators have yet to start on him. Quickly. Back to the camp. We need to warn Vess and the others. We've no time! Halt! No passage! By order of death mold. Finally, you're here!
Where'd everyone go? They were invited to a banquet. How do you know? I saw Death Mold's messenger arrive. What is this feast? A celebration. Apparently Death Mold exposed the leader of some conspiracy. The syphilitic prick. Where's this banquet taking place? The camp canteen. But it'll be empty now. Everyone's marched on Vergen. Quickly. Kill the sons of bitches. They'll suffer and die, long and painfully. Take that! Last one. <laughs> Vess, are you all right? Y yes. What happened? Deathmold invited everyone to a feast. He said the king was grateful that we'd helped reveal the plot. A roast pig and two barrels of wine awaited, he said. 
He said Vernon had just returned from Kedwin. He was to be personally decorated by the king, and I was to be there to see it. The lads went to the canteen, I went to the royal tent. Well, Roach was not in the king's company. Deathmold jumped around like an ape, shouting that they'd all hang his punishment for flotsman for conspiring. Vess, what did they do to you? I begged them. I pleaded. They laughed at me and let me go. Your Majesty, withdraw your order, I beg you. They're normal fighting men who were just following orders. They don't deserve to die. Please, sire, show mercy. They're men of honour. They deserve better. Honour? Where was your honour when... Deathmold, leave us. Your Grace. What can a whore know of honour? You're a stupid little strumpet, and that is how I shall treat you. You'll behave if you want to see any of your foolish comrades again. Don't go there, please, Roach. Deathmold expects you to seek vengeance. He awaits it. He won't need to wait long. Don't you understand? They hanged the lads to provoke you. You were away. They had a battle to win. They didn't know when you'd return. You cannot go there. We won't. We'll follow the army. Kill every kid Winnie we meet. That's suicide. Plow it all. Everything I loved died in this tent. My country disintegrates. My friends cruelly murdered. I want blood. As do I. You've no idea how much. I can still smell that swine on me, but I'll not let them win. Attack Hensilt now. Among his army and blood will flow. But it will only be yours. Vess is right, Roach. Better go for now. Fuck! What do you suggest I do? We'll try to get to Vergen through the ravines. I know a hidden path into the town. With the battle raging, we won't be noticed. We'll find Sheila and get the Kingslayer. And in the process, kill as many Kedwinnies as we can. Vess, can you manage it? Vess stays. I'll not put her in danger again. And someone must get back to the Percival and its crew. Sail to a nearby cove. We'll need some way to get out of here. I'll take the boat around the bend past the camp and await you there. We must head through the ravines. Shit, shit, shit! Vess is lying. What? I can vouch for her with my life. I can't believe she escaped death mode. What are you suggesting? Nothing. First I'll kill Henselt, then Deathmold. Or maybe the other way round. What do you advise? I advise you to shut up and keep your eyes and ears open. Pleasure comes later. 